Hello, welcome back. Last time I dealt with some old bugbears that were giving me some real trouble here in the flower garden and got them all done. Looking at this right now, can it be true that I have only two puzzles left outside of the, um, the crazy zone? Plus also possibly this someday? Because there's this one in Mountaintop. Yeah, so I guess at this point this would be the oldest one uh, that I have to look at right now. This was a real jerk last time I looked at it, because, let's see, so this is a derivative of floaty platforms. This one was fine, let's do it again just for memory refreshing. Then I'll look at the differences between this one and that one, because that was the one that I spent, like, a lot of time on, uh, on my own, was very unhappy about it because it got nowhere. Uh, yeah, I still even remember, like, all of the mechanical moves here. Let's see, right, so I want to, well, some of them. I want this vertical so that that's out of the way of where that rock actually is, so that I can do that. Then rock stops being push, and I want to, like, push this through in a different order, not all at once. Uh, careful with that. Uh, right, okay, so here, have one piece of text at a time. So with these two bridges synchronized, uh, Lonely Baba is defeat, by the way. With those two bridges synchronized, uh, I don't want to push that key down there. So you know what? Let's not take any text at all. Here's a key. Here's some text that's going to help me push that key around. Uh, don't be that, please. So I use the text like this. Um, that text has synchronized with the door. Yeah, okay, so don't synchronize anything with that door. That's important. You have to remain desynchronized. You know, let's just move the door out of the way. So you can do this, and it's cool. Get that key that far over. Now, it's in the rightmost column, so the only way to get it to the door, I've already pushed the door is to have pushed the door. You can also push the door onto that and just win in the same turn. I can't undo my winning move. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's how you do that one. Here. Differences. Uh, door is not push this time. So that door cannot move off of its same tile. So if I try the same solution a second time, here's the problem I'm gonna run into. So I can set that all up the same, leave that text out of there, push that key over as far as it can go, use the text for that. But you can see what's going to happen here. The key will wind up in the rightmost column and be inaccessible to me. So if I could have only this Baba move and push to the left without the other one dying during that process then I could totally get it far enough over that I could pick it up here and put it in the door. But door doesn't move, can't pull the key, and this is where I got stuck. Okay, so other differences. This is a little bit narrower. So it makes me wonder if I can interact with these rules somehow. I remember there was one thing that I managed to make. I think it was rock is key. So if I don't mess with the key at all, um, if I wanted to make rock is key, I'll just ignore what you're doing. These are slightly desynchronized, so it's a little awkward to work Well, Yeah, that's right. This is, um, yeah, okay, and I had to sacrifice the key to do that, didn't I? Like, I have just barely enough pushables to do a thing here. I'm not going to worry too much about the um, the well-being of this Baba over here, but he has survived so far. So here is a way that I can interact with the rules. I think that was the only other rule change other than Rock is Push that I had ever found a way to do when I tried this the first time. So I looked at all sorts of stuff like, you know, making a bridge over here, which, yes, you can do it, but 
it does zero good. Because as soon as one Baba tries to come over, uh, the other one dies. And there's also just nothing interesting over on the other side. So yeah, one Baba could cross to the other side. The other one would die. Either way, it doesn't matter which way you go. It's the same. Once a rock is in the emptiness, it's pretty much trapped there forever. There's nothing particularly interesting about doing something like... this. So I kept looking for ways. It does seem vaguely significant that I can make rock is key. I have to sacrifice my key for it. And to have you alive, it does seem as though I have to have you down here, which means both of those rocks become a bridge. And you also definitely have to be down here, which means that rock has also become a bridge. So that doesn't seem like it helps me. And that's where I got stuck. Because, like, there's stuff that can be accessed here. So in terms of, like, ways to interact with rules... Yeah, so what eventually led me to realize that this is narrower and the rules are a little bit more in reach... Um, was trying to compare this to this... Without that, and just having, like, removing the add door here, it would mean that this puzzle would be a strict superset of the other one. It does seem as though in this game it's usually avoided to have two puzzles that can be solved the same way. Like, Lonely House and Skull House would be two others um, that are very close to each other, but they are different. Like, the easier one can't be solved by the harder solution. It kind of can. It's kind of the same solution, but you know. Uh, so my expectation here is that it's significant that this is narrower and I can reach some of these rules. Now hang on. So if I look back over there again... Yeah, this is way the heck over here and you cannot phrase rock is key. Right, and in terms of, like, zone of influence, if I can never have Baba step outside of these squares, then I can just sort of project orthogonally out of the edges of these. And like, those are the only places where I can possibly get rules. Um, a place like this is a zone of exclusion. A place like this is a zone of exclusion. Like, there's no possible way I can move any pushable into any of those squares. It's just, just not conceptually possible with this, this layout. So only orthogonally can I affect anything. There's a win here that I can't use. This is too far up for me to make rock as flag. Just have to get rock here, is there. Have four extra thingies that you could push up there. Technically I do have four extra thingies. That one couldn't push at the same time because you'd have to deconstruct this rule to make rock as flag. Uh, and two, you can't get them all in the same place up here. Now the other thing, as I was saying before, is that a Baba can be sacrificed to push something just one tile further. So the spaces where that might be possible, the only real asymmetry here comes from this little misalignment between these two, because this one's a bit lower. So what that means is I could sacrifice this Baba here, 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 or here without affecting you. I could sacrifice this Baba down here without affecting this. Oh, so you know what that lets me do? All right, so could this lead to anything? Um, so that lets me use one object fewer in the process of... I mean, I don't think it helps me, but let's pretend it does. 
let's say I wanted to save this key. You can just squirrel it away over there. Take that rock. Oops. Take that is, take that push. So the push goes here. I sacrifice it, but I also sacrifice a Baba. And I end up with rock as key with one more object still there. So let's see, past that point, I don't need rock as push anymore, but these things are way far away from each other. Like having an extra object over here just doesn't help me at all. Key is push, so it can't be a bridge component. Uh, this tile right here is in the zone of exclusion. Technically it's not because this guy's way over here, but I can't influence something from way the heck over there. So this is in the zone of exclusion for this Baba. Cannot put anything here, so I can't make Raka's key this way. Even though that would be a lot more convenient. Uh, but see, like, I still don't have a reason to care about that, as far as I can tell. Because you just have nothing. You have no resources. You got the two rocks. You got to spend both of them on your bridge. So I need to, like, get you an extra resource somehow. Turning those rocks into a key doesn't help. So, like, getting one of those words over. But see, this gap is just too wide. It's a big gap. You, you just don't have enough stuff. Can I take, like, another route, like, down here and through there? I mean, the answer is no, but... Gotta think about these things. Okay. Let's try some weird, crazy stuff. It won't work. I, I was thinking of something that involved you pushing something off the edge there and dying, but then you would necessarily die. So I, when I initially tried this, I spent a whole lot of time attempting to do stuff like... Um, here, let's do it here. Uh, here, be desynchronized. You get, get somewhere else. Uh, so let's say I would... put those rocks there like that. Because they are push, I can kill that Baba without this one dying. So, like, you're one step farther west than this one. It is real hard to get leverage. That's the other implication, though, of having this boundary a little bit closer in. Is that maybe I can do that stuff. And I note that this is only a 2, while this is a 3 right here. Though I suspect that has more to do with the rules than, like, the distance of this barrier from walkable space. So yeah, the rock being push, or text, I guess, and the edge of the level... Now hang on, there, there's one other way that I can do this. I can create a desync without either one dying. It's not helpful, as far as I know. But I can do it. Here, start over. Uh, that was the starting state. Okay, close enough. So you go there. You move so I can push that. The reason I have to reorient that is because this rock occupies the equivalent space of the word. So um, I'd be pushing both when the, the two babas are synchronized. Uh, no, you have to be push here. Uh, wait, what am I doing here? I only needed to push one of those out. Let's leave the other one there. All right, so let's say that I break this and go here and no, I have to not break it. So this has to be true while I'm doing that. The problem is no, it has to be f both true and false. No, it doesn't, no, why do I want this push? I don't want it push, I know. What am I thinking? So the point of this exercise is for this Baba to be able to step here and resynchronize relative to this one. So yeah, cool, I've done that. Um, one, it doesn't mean anything. It loses your access to this column, loses your access to this column, and loses everybody's access to some pretty important resources. But that was the only way I could find to shift one over 
with reference to the other one. Um, I guess there is one other way I could do that. Which would be like... Like that. So now vertically, it's the other way around. So I've made this desync more extreme. Technically I could do that a second time too. Well, not the way I did that. Um, but it still doesn't help. It just makes my problems worse. Like, this is basically a resource management challenge, and I'm just out of resources. Or I can't get... I can't teleport a resource from the right side over to the left. Right side is... is rich. Left side is poor. And yeah, looking at this with semi-fresh eyes, I'm not having any new insights. So I was looking at doing some stuff like... Put this in a spot where it's kind of closer to within the influence of this one, like push something over and have it push that rock, but like that never, never went anywhere interesting. Let's see, there's something very specific about the column I use for bridge building. Every column here, except for this one, is valid for pushing stuff over here. So if I go in the leftmost column... I can still keep all my stuff, get both Babas down here, do the things I want to do, more or less, start pushing that key over, you know, everything's fine. If I go in the rightmost column, though, uh, it does have to be the same relative column here and here, because of the way they're synchronized. If I go in the rightmost column, then stuff is all the way on the right and I can't pull it off of this, this wall over here to put it anywhere. So rightmost column is the only one that seems like I definitely don't want it. Yeah, everything's too far away from each other, and there's not enough resources to make to, to bridge the gap anywhere in any way that's useful. So, now ultimately, I do find myself trying to just take the same actions I took in the earlier version of this. The most drastically different thing that I've found that I can do is rock is key here use all of my resources, maybe save for one that ends up on the right where it's useless, to make that happen. Door is shut. Door has flag. The two flag words are there and there. Key is push. Lonely Baba is defeat. I get these things. You just don't get anything to interact with this space. Like, yeah, the whole problem is I can't get anything over to you over there in any way that helps. Okay, so here's something I haven't really particularly tried. I don't see why it would be useful, but let's pretend it might be. It could lead to an insight. You never know. So let's say instead of trying to do all this stuff down here, I brought this key up here. Oh. That has some hint of potential, actually. Let's see, how could that help? If the key is up, So if the key is up, and I know, I mean, that still doesn't lead anywhere it needs to lead. 
It's not like I can get this rock back. I can't pull it to me. It's only push, and only sometimes. I don't get any more space up here than I do down there. If only, though. Also, if I... Okay, so I do see another problem. If I chose the leftmost column and did the key handoff like this, then I couldn't get it back off this wall to the door, imagining that I could, like, push the key over here, get it off that wall, and then bring it down here. Couldn't bring it down this column. Or this one. So it would have to be one of the middle three. However, as far as I can tell, there's no practical difference between that and... Uh, this. Other than the weird desync between the chambers that I'm using, so how is that significant? Does it have any significance at all to the... this handoff I'm attempting? If I could just get any form of horizontal desync here... Then I could have you push that, have that there, and everything would be great. So let's see. Influence. Um, if this were indeed in... Okay, sure. Let's, let's do this just as a thing to do. Uh, so if I build my bridge there. Uh, no, you, that, that does have to be specifically there. Which is totally fine. Uh, I could do this. So if I built my bridge there, then I get some ability to act upon it from here. No, I don't. No, I don't because you would die. I mean, okay, fine. You're gonna die then. Just, just deal with it. So if I do in fact phrase rock is push here, then I can influence that a little bit. Completely uselessly. So yeah, minus the frustration, this is what my experience was in this puzzle in that scrapped footage. There's just... nothing with the tools that I'm looking at that it seems like I can do. So how do I figure out what I'm not looking at? Let's scan everything in the room. Baba is you. You is within the zone of influence, but it's an ending and it's in a place where it could only begin things. Baba is outside the zone of influence. Flag. I could prepend to that, but I already looked at that. It's too far away, there aren't enough things over here to do anything with it. Win. Same problem as the U, only worse, because it's one more column farther outside the zone. Key. I have shown how I can prepend to this word and accomplish a thing that feels almost useful, but not quite. Because I've already spent all my resources, save for maybe one, on the right, when I would need an extra one on the left for that to do anything. There's no extras on the left, as far as I can tell. Door. Too far away. Two, three, four, five, six. So to do anything, all I could phrase would be rock is door is shut. Uh, rock is push key. Uh... I would need something extra here, like I'd need to get that rock down there. And, and that has the same problem as like anything where I'm deconstructing rock is pushed, the rock can't. And also has the same problem where, you know, I have to use it for a bridge just to get over here in the first place. Like if I could, if I could pick up my bridge and bring it with me, then I wouldn't have a problem here anymore. Can't do that though. If I could just pick up my bridge and bring it back with me. Like, the only way that could ever happen is if I push something else in its place, like a key. But 
But if I push the key there, then you're trapped down here in this prison. With no hope of escape. I can't make key as rock, I can only make rock as key. Okay, so this, definitely too far away since that is, and it's the same word, so it doesn't matter. What about over here? I could make rock as push without having to... Uh... Lose this... Or sorry, with well, while still having this available. Could I really do that, though? I think the answer is no. So the closest I could come to doing that would be if I were to... Like, shove that over there. I can put a rock underneath some text. Okay, that's something I haven't really thought about much. Can't put the key under the text, only a rock. As far as I can see, that doesn't help me, but let's think about it. So... So hang on, uh, other stuff. Rock is defeat, nobody cares. Um, this is outside the zone of influence, so I can't bridge anything from here to these words. Uh, key is push, I don't have anything that could go after that and mean anything. Same for defeat. So right, I was thinking about... What if... Uh, I put that in a bad place. What if... I gave you a rock? This is about the only way I know how to do that. Okay, you just... We would die together. Uh, unless I first did this. Okay. You've gained a rock. Can't do anything with it. I can break that rule and then nobody cares about anything. Okay. So again, the question remains. How can I see what I'm not seeing? There's nothing else interesting about these rules that I can see here. Flag is win. It's the only thing that's win. Key is push. It's the only property key has other than open. Door is shut. Door isn't stop or anything, it's just shut. Let's look at these uh, rules just in case. Can't obliterate the lonely or anything, or the defeat. So no breaking that rule. Only Baba can be me. That's in, that's outside the, the zone of influence. So no doing anything to Baba. Door has flag. It's pretty clear cut. This key has to be brought to this door. This Baba has to be alive to touch the flag that that will create. It's the only way. Okay, so a definite step prior to that is that this key must be at least as far west as this column. So this key has to cross this boundary, or I make a new key over here by saying rock is key but I don't have a spare rock. I have these two, and there's nothing interesting I can do with them. Uh... No, that's useless. I was, I thought for a moment I had seen a thing where like, suppose these two rocks were down here. I could put just one there and press against it and desync, but that's not useful because it's already, 
There's already a desync down there. If I brought both and put them here and here, which already is impossible, but if I could somehow do it and have them be push, then I could have this Baba die while this one survives. Not even what I want. I would want you to go south one. Would it help me if, when I was down here, this Baba were one farther south than this one? So, like, synchronized as if based on the center of these two. Not in any way that I can see. Can't imagine how that would be helpful. It is as if I have enough resources, I just can't issue the command to one without the other one also following it to its death. And any use of these rocks for anything other than just simple bridge building here leads to me not being able to reach what I need. <laughs> like, I just keep looking for ways to pick up my bridges after me. It would be real nice if I could somehow do that. I don't want this key up here. The only thing that could be better about this key up here would be if there's something about the shiftedness of these that makes it harder for it to cross the gap. There's nothing as far as I can see. Well, also, it's not particularly worse to have the key up here. It's the same. So that's fine. So hang on, if this were leftmost... Doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't do anything. Can only influence this with vertical movement. So yeah, like remember this stuff. Or I can like put those things inside each other. Doesn't help. Like, there's either some just incredibly obscure trick I can do here. Or just, like... I feel like what's happening... Is that I've been led so firmly down the path of doing this particular action. There's just some, like, dramatically different action I have to do... Than the solution in the last place. But I just... I have nothing. I look at my resources and I see nothing I can do with them that's more interesting than what I'm already doing, other than rock is key. So, so let's really, really examine that. How? I mean, it leads nowhere. There's a key here, there's a key here. It breaks my bridges because I can't step onto that without pushing them around and dying in the loneliness. The rocks are pretty much in the void. They're irretrievable. Turning them into keys does not make them any more retrievable. You just have nothing. You have no means to do stuff. Okay. Well, I've now shown the experience of that level. There's, there's nothing. I don't have the resources. All right. So, that puzzle, currently impossible, gotta wait for it to ripen, like the others. I apparently didn't wait long enough. It's still too green to eat. Okay, well... As this game goes on, and my options narrow, there's almost certainly going to be more uh, sessions like this one. Uh, I have finite time, so I can't just, like, spend, you know... 12 hours on that, staring at it, poking at it, until some insight comes to me in a delirious haze of frustration. Why did I go here? <laughs> uh, and I don't... I've never seen that to actually happen. Like, persisting on an insight-based puzzle for hours on end leads to nothing. Like, there has never been a time in my life that I can think of that I've done that for, you know, more than a few minutes 
that's actually led to an insight that lets me solve a thing. Because yeah, just the nature of these puzzles is if you don't see it, it literally is impossible. Like it cannot be done if I don't stumble upon or come up with the information for what I'm not seeing here. It's, it's invisible to me. I, I can't see it until I do see it. And there's no, there's no amount of labor I can use to make myself have an insight here. Could make discoveries if there were more I could do, but there aren't any remaining actions that I can even try that seem like they would lead to discovery. I mean, obviously there's something, assuming this puzzle is solvable, which should be a safe assumption. But yeah, there's nothing. So that's that's my that's my big brick wall. There is no way through that for me right now. Okay, so I have some puzzles in this zone, I think, that I'm not absolutely brick walled on. Um, now, whoa, what did I do? Uh, I guess probably the reason I went over here is because this puzzle is in very much the same state as that mountaintop one, but with more stuff around. There are more angles I can poke at this. So I feel like if I poked at this a little harder, it has at least a higher probability of giving me a new insight than this one does, where there's just nothing to poke. It's a smooth, flat surface that's absolutely impenetrable. I've picked at everything that appears to be a feature on it and have not made any dents at all. All these metaphors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, I think that one hasn't ripened enough, and I feel like the finale probably hasn't either. So yeah, I should just go back to this zone next time, try to have a better time. Uh, I can mess with, this has the level keyword in it, so I can do stuff there. I haven't even looked at Ultimate Maze. Yeah, that's where I should be going. That's what I should have done today instead of this nonsense. All right, yeah, next time Ultimate Maze, and actually hopefully have a good time there. I'll see you then.